Hello everyone, this is Alex Bavalsik from HowToDoTech.com and today we're going to be looking at a rather small feature in iOS 7. So one of the cool things about iOS 7 is the fact that there are a lot of small features that are just hidden throughout the operating system that you'll probably discover once you start using iOS 7. The ones I'm going to show you today are the iTunes and App Store wish lists. Now, as the name implies, the wish list feature is available both in the iTunes Store and the App Store, just like how it has been available on desktop iTunes for a very long time. So I'm going to start by showing you this in the App Store. So I'm going to launch the App Store and go straight to my Featured. And from here, you're going to notice that I have a list icon on the top right. Same if I'm in Top Charts or Near Me. Now, this doesn't show up under Search or Updates, but it will show up under the other three different um, categories. So if I go up to the top right and I hit that list icon, we see my wish list. Now, my wish list is full of all the apps that I want from the App Store, all these cool apps, and I can hit Edit, and I could say Delete, Sky Guide. Maybe I decide I don't want to pay $2 for that, and I'll hit Delete and the app is gone. I could also hit done and I'll escape right out. Now if I want to add an app to my wish list, all I have to do is find an app I want. Maybe I want to put Sky Guide back. I'll tap it and from here I can of course see all the information about it and I decide I really like this app. So I'm going to hit share at the top right but instead of sharing it to like Facebook or messaging or airdropping it to someone, I'm going to hit add to wish list at the bottom left. From there, it's been added to my wish list, just like so. If I hit the list, I can see it right back at the bottom. Now, this is, of course, also available for iTunes Store. So I'm going to tap on iTunes Store, open that up, and I'm going to start in my music. Now, of course, uh, that list icon is in the top right. It's also going to be there for movies and TV shows. Again, not for search or more. So I'm going to go back to music, hit that wish list feature, and from here, we're going to see that wish list is actually a little bit more jam-packed. Not only am I, uh, do I have more than just songs and TV seasons and TV episodes, I can put basically anything that's not apps in this wish list. I can also see my radio previews. I haven't listened to iTunes radio yet. Or my previews of songs, but I've previously cleared those. So clearing is actually in the top left, and all you would have to do is hit that clear button, and all your previews or radio entries would be gone from that second. I can also edit my wish list here by hitting edit and then tapping songs or TV episodes I'd like to delete and deleting those. But I'm going to keep everything in my wish list and hit done. So now we're going to go on to the desktop view. So one of the cool things about the wish list feature that's now featured in iOS is the fact that you're not limited to just accessing it on any iOS device. In fact, an iTunes wish list has been available in iTunes for many versions recently. One of the cool things is you can add any item to your wish list on a computer, whether it be Mac or Windows, and then access it on your iOS device and possibly purchase it there rather than on the computer itself. Now, accessing this wish list is actually quite simple. You can either go on the right under Quick Links when you're on the home page and go to My Wish List, or at any point in the store, you can just click on your email address at the top left and select My Wish List. Now there are a couple of items in my wish list, items that I was just thinking about purchasing. Wasn't really sure about getting them, but they are in my wish list nonetheless. They are organized, you can choose songs, apps, books, or anything really. And um, they show up right here. They'll also show up on my iOS device. Anything other than apps will show up in the iTunes wish list, and apps will of course show up in the App Store wish list. Now if you want to add something to your wish list when you're in the iTunes Store, just hit that drop down and normally there would be an add to wish list button right here if it was not already in my wish list. So that's how you're going to access it there. You already know how to access it on iOS. So we hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, please hit that like button, give us a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel if you're not already. That way you would be notified when we have new videos like this one. You can also click on our iOS 7 playlist, which is linked below right now. We have a lot more iOS 7 tutorials, both with the operating itself and apps inside it. And finally, you can click on one of these other options to go to more playlists for different types of tech tutorials we have. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below or email us at howtodotechyt at gmail.com. We're also on Facebook and Google+, and you can get in touch with us there. So I am Alex Bavalsik, and I will see you next time.